Are silent profit killers stalking your herd, costing you thousands, perhaps tens of thousands of dollars each year without you even realizing it? Many dedicated beef producers, just like you, are facing this exact heartbreaking reality, day in and day out. But it doesn't have to be this way. Welcome, fellow cattle enthusiasts. Today, we're tackling a critical topic, causes and, crucially, solutions for diseases in beef cattle. Understanding these can mean the difference between a thriving, profitable operation and one battling constant losses. Diseases don't appear randomly. They often stem from key areas we can influence. And the concerning part? Some causes are so subtle they go unnoticed until real damage occurs. First, a foundational pillar, nutrition. Your cattle might look well-fed, but are they truly well-nourished? There's a difference. Hidden hunger, a lack of essential vitamins, minerals like copper, selenium, or zinc, or the right energy protein balance is a major culprit. These deficiencies cripple immune systems, making cattle easy targets for infections. Imagine trying to build a strong house with poor quality bricks. It just won't stand up to challenges. For your cattle, this means calves can be born weak, cows may struggle to rebreed efficiently, and growth rates can plummet. And the worst part is, these subtle deficiencies often don't show obvious signs until real damage occurs. Many producers unknowingly under-supplement, or they use generic, one-size-fits-all mineral programs that simply aren't meeting their herd's specific needs based on forage quality, regional soil differences, water sources, and the animal's stage of production. Are you confident your herd isn't facing this silent drain from hidden hunger? Next, your farm environment. Poor sanitation and hygiene are open invitations for disease. Pathogens thrive in contaminated water or constantly damp, mucky conditions where cattle are forced to lie. Dirty water troughs can become breeding grounds for harmful bacteria like E. coli or Salmonella, leading to scours or other infections. Overcrowding, especially in confinement, during harsh weather or around feed bunks, concentrates manure and increases the risk of respiratory diseases spreading like wildfire through your herd. Think about it. Proper manure management isn't just about keeping things tidy. It's a critical frontline disease control measure. And water. Clean, fresh water is non-negotiable for health. Yet, overlooking trough cleanliness or failing to test water sources for quality and contaminants is a common and potentially costly mistake that can lead to chronic subclinical health issues that quietly chip away at your profits. Does your farm environment actively fight disease, or does it unknowingly encourage it? Then there's stress. Stress isn't just an emotional state. It has profound physiological impacts that suppress the immune system. Weaning, transportation, extreme weather changes, mixing new groups of cattle, even rough handling, these are all significant stressors. When an animal is stressed, its body releases cortisol, a hormone that, in high levels, weakens its defenses against bacteria and viruses it might normally fight off. It's like opening the gate and inviting trouble in. Have you ever noticed how sickness often follows a stressful event, like shipping new calves? That's no coincidence. Many producers underestimate the impact of low-grade chronic stress caused by things like constant competition for feed bunk space or uncomfortable living conditions. Minimizing stress isn't just about being kind to your animals, it's smart business and proactive disease prevention. We must address the infectious agents, bacteria, viruses, and parasites. Diseases like bovine viral diarrhea, BVD, infectious bovine rhinotracheitis, IBR, clostridial diseases like blackleg, plus numerous internal worms and external pests constantly challenge our herds. These tiny invaders cause a spectrum of issues, from mild scours or coughing to severe illness, reproductive failure, and even death. Crucially, many of these diseases are introduced from outside sources. This is where biosecurity becomes important. 
every new animal brought in without proper quarantine, every visitor with contaminated boots, even shared equipment, can be a Trojan horse carrying disease. A common and costly mistake is underestimating this risk and not having a robust, practical biosecurity plan that is consistently followed. Think about it. Are your current practices truly safeguarding your herd against these invisible threats, or are there gaps that could be exploited? Now, understanding these causes is the first step, but the real power comes from knowing the solutions, the practical steps you can take starting today to protect your herd and your livelihood. And the good news is, many of these solutions are not overly complicated or expensive. They often revolve around smart management and prevention, so, how do we combat these challenges? First, let's revisit nutrition. The solution isn't just throwing out more feed, it's about strategic, balanced nutrition. Work with a nutritionist or your veterinarian to develop a feeding program tailored to your specific herd, considering your forage base, local deficiencies, and the animal stage of production. This means regular forage testing and providing a high-quality, palatable mineral supplement that your cattle will actually consume in the correct amounts. Don't fall for the cheapest option. Invest in a supplement that truly meets their needs. And water. Ensure unlimited access to clean, fresh water. Clean your troughs regularly, at least once a week, and consider testing your water sources annually. A simple change in water management, like providing an extra waterer to reduce stress, can help. Providing an extra waterer to reduce competition can significantly reduce stress and improve health. Next up, proactive health management. This includes a robust vaccination program. Vaccines are one of your most powerful tools, but they're not a silver bullet. They work best in healthy, well-nourished animals that aren't overly stressed. Consult your vet to create a vaccination schedule that targets the specific diseases prevalent in your area and relevant to your herd type. And it's not just about what vaccines you give, but when and how. Proper vaccine handling and administration are critical for them to be effective. Another key component is parasite control. Internal and external parasites don't just steal nutrients, they damage organs and transmit other diseases. Implement a strategic deworming program, again, based on veterinary advice and fecal egg counts if possible, not just guessing. Consider pasture rotation to break parasite life cycles and effective fly control, especially during peak seasons. Remember, preventing a disease is almost always cheaper and more effective than treating it. Building that biosecurity wall is paramount. Implement a strict quarantine protocol for all new arrivals. At least 30 days is ideal, allowing time for any incubating diseases to show and for you to test and vaccinate them before they mix with your main herd. Limit unnecessary traffic onto your farm. If visitors must come, provide clean boots or a boot wash station. Clean and disinfect any shared equipment before it comes onto your property. These steps might seem like a hassle, but they are your best defense against devastating outbreaks. Alongside this, Focus on minimizing stress. Practice low-stress handling techniques. Temple Graydon's work offers fantastic insights here. Ensure adequate bunk space and resting area. Provide shelter from extreme weather and handle animals quietly and calmly. When you move or work cattle, plan it to be as smooth and stress-free as possible. These small changes in how you manage and interact with your cattle can have a huge impact on their overall health and resilience. Finally, never underestimate the power of keen observation and good record keeping. You know your animals best. Walk through your herd daily, look for subtle signs of sickness, an animal that's off by itself, droopy ears, a dull coat, labored breathing, or changes in manure consistency. Early detection is key to successful treatment and preventing spread. If you see something amiss, isolate the animal immediately and consult your veterinarian. Don't wait and hope it gets better. And keep detailed records, calving dates, vaccinations, treatments, illnesses. These records aren't just for compliance. They are invaluable tools for identifying patterns, evaluating the effectiveness of your programs, and making informed management decisions. What gets measured 
gets managed? Are you truly observing or just looking? Protecting your beef cattle from disease isn't just about avoiding losses. It's about responsible stewardship and building a sustainable legacy. The knowledge you've gained today can empower you to make real, positive changes. We're all learning and growing in this rewarding field. If you found this information valuable, help our community thrive. Please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future insights. Share this video with fellow cattle producers. And critically, share your experiences or questions in the comments below. Let's learn from each other. Together, we can raise healthier cattle and build stronger operations. Thank you for watching and let's continue this journey of improvement side by side.